Hi guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Quick um, video share today of this little journal here that um, is my first design team project for Debbie Ann from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Um, it was, I think, meant to be done by, well, she, she was very gracious and said mid to late November and today's the 30th of November so I think I've gotten in by the skin of my teeth. So um, I used her um, beautiful kit, well two of her beautiful kits called So Pretty, So Pretty 1 and So Pretty 2 and um, I've used elements from both of those but only a few bits to be fair, the kits are huge, there's lots with them. It's the very first time ever that I've used um, a kit, a digital kit and um, so it was new for me, a really, really great experience. Thank you, Debbie Ann, for giving me the opportunity. Um, it was interesting because I'd made this cover, well, I'd started this cover, I think, probably beginning of the summer, and was and I'd got a few bits together, um, and I was just waiting to um, to pop it together, really, but hadn't really found what I wanted. So when this opportunity came up to do this. Um, it was fabulous because when I looked through Debbie's kits, I loved this vint the vintage style of the uh, So Pretty kits. So let's go in. So as you can see, I've just layered up, it's just on a hardback book, which I've repurposed some fabric, um, some a doily uh, repurposed jewelry piece. And this piece here is from the Stamperia Atelier. So I've used the um, so Stamperia papers, Atelier and Atelier, um, Stamperia old lace and with these vintage kits it's they're absolutely perfect I've just put two signatures in these and the first thing you notice is this um, pocket that opens that flips up and this paper is from the old lace and what I love about it is it's beautiful it gives you the, the sense of illusion of texture when um, it's just paper and I needed it because there's only room for two signatures in this um, uh, uh, journal and I and I put lace in but I, I didn't want it too bulky before the recipient places her bits and pieces in it so I've got the flip out pocket here and in here I've just popped some uh, the beautiful um, little journal cards I did these quite small so they could go in here but uh, Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I love the sense of colour. I just put some tea dyed paper on the back. A little tag here from the old lace, I think the, um, no, Atelier. Um, I think it goes so well. It goes so well. But this is just part of the, I can't remember if it's so pretty one or two to be fair, but what I'm going to do is link below how gorgeous is that and I love the little tape measure thingy on the on the side I shall link below uh, to the kits I shall link on Etsy and also to Debbie's YouTube channel so this cover here is from uh, the uh, Atelier range uh, the cut of paper and then what have I done here here we go okay so, uh, and then what I did was um, I laid a double page, so this is from the kit here, and I'll show you on that side, on the back, yeah, so that's the double page that comes from the kit, and I've laid it onto the um, Atelier cardstock, I love the corrugated um, vibe on this. I just laid it straight on there. I think it looks beautiful, beautiful. Love the colours that she's used, and uh, oh, just the details of the safety pins and everything else. Uh, this is some paper from hmm, Rosie at our atelier, I think, and I've just added those. A little bit of washi. If you can see this beautiful washi, I've popped in there for this journal. I think it goes really well. So I would say, guys, it's not particularly a journal for serious journaling. 
It's mainly for memory keeping and putting your favourite quotes in and bits and pieces. Again, this here, this beautiful page, is from uh, the, is one of the, the kits pages from the kit. And there's the other side of that. I'm sure as I go. Uh, yes. So yes, that's the other side of that one. Now what's I doing? I'm getting really confused here. No, 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 no. It is this one. That's the other side. Let me see. And basically with here, I've just added um, a music lovers library. This is a vintage uh, paper, music paper. Got score sheets and things in there. And I just laid that in. I think it's beautiful. Some fabric. I thought it went really nicely with that. And um, basically I've popped, found this, I've had this pattern, the dress pattern, no it's a pattern for a cape, and I popped this aside to go in this journal um, many moons ago, so I popped it in anyway, it's not particularly vintage vintage as in the style, but I just love the colours, and it is quite, well it's, it is quite old to be fair, so that's the back side of the pattern, if you can see that there. And I've just done, that's another piece of that window washi, I think that's beautiful, looks beautiful. Then the tea dyed paper, just a little bit of um, ribbon there that's got like a lace effect on it. And this is vintage lace which I've just sort of sewn onto the back there. And that's another piece of that paper from my atelier. And here is the centre, I absolutely adore this. This is from the kit, absolutely beautiful, all the different colours that you can, in fact a lot of the colours, I've, I've got a few pieces, I've, I've tended to range towards the blue, the brown and the pink for this project, but quite a few of the pieces are more greeny, so they'll go so well with the little botanical vibe as well. And I've just, with the strings, I've left them long, but you can cut them if you like, I've left them long, but and I've just um, collaged that onto the music paper on the back and just some lace on the back and um, I've got a little Tim Holtz pin here oh, what's that one say? can't say it without my glasses, it says snippets or something like that I think and I've just um, I've just popped this beading on Okay, and so there's that. And then I've got this one up here. This, what have I done here? Yes, so that's the other side. I've gone a bit mad with the dangles. So I've got a, some repurpose. You've got a, a Tim Holtz pin on the back there. I've got this is a vintage piece here, and then I've got some repurposed jewellery, um, which I love. And I've just popped this little collar piece. In and I've popped that in there. That's a piece of uh, one of the journaling cards from the kit, and it forms a little tuck spot that I haven't popped anything in yet, but I can show you how that goes. So, a little tuck spot in there. There's plenty of bits and pieces tucked around. I might actually even add some more, but to be honest, the day's running away with me. I've made a date and I've taken a daughter and two of her friends from school we're going to see the new Frozen movie in a couple of hours so if I don't get this done now we won't get done at all today so right okay so a little bit of the fabric and I've basically done a soda pocket and I pop some little narrow bits and pieces in here I think the idea of this journal is that you can pop as many little bits and pieces in as you like in different parts um, I liked I don't know I took the the music lovers library music book of apart and this was keeping it together I don't know if you can see it but I left it on yeah, I loved it I love it not just a bit of a tear that I've repaired with washi but I've just left that on there like so well, I haven't counted the pages yet okay so that's just a little bit of fabric there this is from the um, atelier look at how and that lace lies. It looks lacy. Uh, okay, how we do it? So pop that in there like so. 
lots of dangles this is so beautiful so beautiful um, so that's the end of the first signature and I couldn't resist I've been holding on to this little piece for a while and I thought it looked really nice just placed here on this little beaded doily which isn't vintage this is a new one but I love it um, so I left it white because I think it really picks up the white on here and um, it's got little beads on it and then if you can see this dangle in the center on a vintage doily piece and I just love I just love this um, paper, that's the Atelier and the paper again from Stamperia and just how nicely does that lie on here, just how nicely does that lie, so that's um, from the uh, So Pretty kit, I think it's absolutely beautiful, but um, yeah I've gone to town guys on the, um, what's the word, on the jewellery for this one, and that's the so yes that's the other side of that page it's a double page spread okay from the kit and i just popped it on there like so right so you've got that i've made a pocket out of the excess of this paper because i didn't want to waste it i wanted to use it in this project and i think it looks beautiful you can see the detail so i've made a pocket in, with that and I've popped a card, so this is basically just a card from the Atelier paper. Now when I opened up the, the pattern, the dress pattern for the cape, this was tucked inside. I decided to leave it in there, I folded it and I popped it in the journal. Because this picture was obviously the inspiration for the lady to make herself one. And I just, uh, so yeah, she'd obviously seen it in the magazine. Winter Romance. Um, she'd seen it in a magazine and thought, oh, she's not a really fancy that. Look at the hairdo. Look at the hairdo one. I think it's fabulous. Fall in love with a cape. Together you can brave the cold by day. All night with Alexandra Young's great new winter look. So it's a Woman's Realm exclusive pattern service. One and nine post free. So it might have been actually in the pattern. One and nine. How old is that? And I picked this up. It's in pieces from um, a charity shop a little while ago. It's a woman's realm and it's all about, it's from 1942. And it's got knitting patterns in and dress patterns and um, all sorts of ads. And I've just taken a little page um, from that and I folded it and popped it in here. I think it looks lovely. Go with like a sewing theme, so I've popped that in there like so. So what's that one? Oh, and I just popped this little one in this card. This is, as I said, it's from the um, oh, so pretty one or two. Can't remember which one, but as you can see, that's more greeny. Beautiful. That also really sit well with a more um, of a botanical thing, wouldn't it? To be honest. Um, oh yes, so that goes in there like so. And I've sewn some lace on here. Actually, do you know what? Let's not waste time. I shall pop that in. So this is some lace that I've sewn, some tea dyed lace that I've got had from my stash. And I've just popped this little uh, Tim Holtz safety pin and some dangles on there. Um, so that goes like so. Let's pop all that, bit, that in a bit later. And pop it back. Tea dyed paper. Gorgeous gorgeous what's the other side of that one is it this no yeah that one. right so um, some more of the um, atelier paper and um, scrapbook paper I've just done, put a bit of fabric on there as well and I've made into a little a bit of a pocket with lace on the back this was just from one of the books it's a Monet I think one of the books that I had in my stash and I pulled it out to go in this journal I love the colours and uh, oh, let's just put that in a bit later as well and as you can see there's that beauty as well from the kit Music Lovers Library you get um, you also get as part of the kit some covers some uh, like little prints of little book covers absolutely brilliant so you can print them off and actually just make little books so this is the cover 
for one of the books in the kit which is absolutely gorgeous now where does it end with that's the back that's the back of it and this is the front isn't it beautiful the detail on that so what I've done is I've made it into a little mini journal and I've popped it in the center of the second signature so you get a journal within a journal so and that has again on the inside made a little pocket I've lined it with um, the atelier and then I've popped a little of the journal cards on there's a tuck spot and then I've popped just some random pieces really this is from the uh, journal card as well aren't they beautiful absolutely gorgeous tea dyed paper and just popped a little of the window washers on there I think that's beautiful it goes nicely in there a little bit of space for writing it's really this is the edge of the set as you paid I've had this stamp for ages first time I've used it it's absolutely ideal for this project I think these little bits I thought were lovely and particularly this one have I got two or three if you can see it says I'll have to it's um, like a coupon for a butterick pattern um, so it's a little vellum piece I think and the others are coupons for different things but I thought they'd go nicely in there and you could paste them wherever you like really that's the centre of the little mini journal um, and I think that is absolutely beautiful again beautiful love it absolutely love it and then I pop if you can see this so I thought that was so, such an apt window washy with the gentleman playing the violin for his bow and well his bell yes anyway um, in the, with the music placed on the background I thought that looked really nice so I've got that, that and that this is the other stamp I've popped on there the, the vintage sewing machine beautiful so that's yes yeah, so I've lined the um, the cover with vintage music paper some more of the vintage music paper just there and then on the assisted back no it's not this is just another pocket yeah my pocket so I've got um, so I've lined it I've just popped her peeping out which I really like this is from Atelier from the Atelier paper pad a little bit of a oh yes another one of the pins with a bit of jewellery on there I think it looks quite nice and it's a nice side profile I've popped this in here I thought it could clip on on any page if you go along because it lies quite flat once it's in uh, the other way around that could be a little bookmark I was going to do one with um, some dangles so it dangled just below but I didn't want it to mess about with these as I've left those long um, so that's the idea with that So, we're doing 18 minutes, no time. So that's the last, yes, that's the, uh, yeah, the last page of the second signature. And so that's got this beautiful page on there. And then I've just popped in there this pocket here, so the pocket. Um, so this has a little bulb pin with this piece of, beautiful piece of jewellery on it. I've just had, I did that, tucked in, this comes from this set with this pocket, that's part of one of the kits, with this pocket and you get two of these lovely cards, and I've just, I just had to go a bit wild and I just backed that with some uh, greetings card, that I thought went really well. That's from the Italiens range, and I've just popped that in here. This is for my postcard range. I thought that really nice, Harrods footwear. Although it's men's, I love the colours. I like the sort of timing of it. And then I just had this from a book from ages ago I cut out, and it's about uh, shabby chic homes, and I, I love it. So I just popped it in there. I've saved it just for 
for this book and I love the, co the colours so I'll just put it there for now so there you go guys as you can see there's a lot of texture in this I've really gone for it so if you you know it's not it's a beautiful it's a it's a kind of a beautiful journal for your bits and pieces adding bits um, so that's the the back and I've um, with the second signature and I've layered it with some of the um, old lace paper and again if you look at the detail just on here and on the very back so we've got um, and this paper here it's got a vintage sewing machine sort of ghosted on the back um, I didn't have time but as you can see there will be a um, brown hair tie it's just that I'm really needed to get this filmed before going out the door and they're not quite to hand and I've just got this beautiful pocket and that's from the kit on the kits um, I just loved it I wanted to put burlap underneath as well but it was just getting too bulky and so that my friends is the completed just in time by a skin of a teeth um, project for Debbie Ann. Thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you again in the next video. Take care, bye bye. bye.